Hello, hello, and welcome back to another To Arrows video. Today, we're going to talk about pets, all things pets. I'm going to show you how to get some difficult to find pets. And we're going to show you how to expand your pet storage. And we're going to talk about stats of the pets. And even, I've got some builds for you, early game, which will help you out. Uh, so, let's get into it. So, first thing you're going to need is a pet shelter. Now, to actually get that, you need to meet Alice out in the uh, out in the forest. Now it is over there now. So as you can see it's just a little little north west of your town. And you will find Alice. If you speak to her, she will ask you to build her a pet centre in your town. Once you've done that, which we're gonna do now, is we can do this again. Uh, she will actually move in and you'll be able to store pets. Awesome. Right, there she is. You'll also be able to buy pet food from her as well, which can come in handy for some uh, difficult to tame pets. So once you've got that, uh, you'll have access to this menu, which will have all your pet storage. Now you can expand it. You can only hold four pets to begin with. Now you will need the warehouse to be able to expand. So if you've not got the warehouse yet, you need to get that safe set done. Uh, so until you've done the second trial, I believe that's when you're able to do the surf set. But yeah, that will make you the pet shelter, which will add 10 slots to your pet storage. Now, you, I've got quite a few of these. I've actually got five in my town, because I wanted to have one of every pet. There are 27 pets in the game, I believe it is. Oh, I might be wrong. But I have all of them. They're all here. I've got... Gooses, we've got alpha wolves, very important. Robins, ducklings, bluebirds, bears, beavers, chickens, butterflies, piggies, marsh beavers, all sorts. Even like crazy stuff like dragons. We'll talk about those later, how to get them. But they all come with stats. Now most of the stats are positive. There are some negatives, only on a few. Like I think the black flies actually... Yeah, you'll lose happiness in your town for those. You will still get positives, but like most of them all have positives. So obviously you need to get taming. Now if you're not done taming, it's pretty simple. Uh, let's go tame something real quick. So, best way to tame is you want to get their attention first. So you want to act silly. Now I'm quite a high level trainer, so this will be really easy for me. We want to get their attention. So actually, now after you've clicked this, like this will like move up and you kind of got to like parappa varappa style time it. So you want to click again as it goes over the third star and you'll get like a double bonus. So let's do that. Oh, I missed it actually. I was a little bit early. So I only got a one and a half bonus. But their interest is up now, which means like if their interest goes down to zero, we'll like lose the encounter. So now we need to get the trust up. So we're gonna start by petting. Like I say, I'm quite a high level trainer, so this will take you longer. <clears throat> and basically just wanna keep touching. Uh, like scratch their ears, tussle their head. As soon as one's unlocked, uh, go for it. Because like with the ear scratch and above, you'll also like gain their interest. So on some harder to like uh, tame stuff, they'll get like distracted and lose interest. So if you're above like, I think it's 30-ish percent, you'll be able to ear scratch. So make sure you do that. But yeah, that's it, it'll be tamed and then you can name it and add it to your collection. Butch. And then if you go back to your collection, this is where you can choose who it follows and uh, whether you just want it to return to the shelter so it's not following anyone. <clears throat> now, some animals will have like their abilities which will only help certain members. Like for example, pigs have a really good ability for the dwarf. When following the dwarf, you'll gain a 40% speed while running. Uh, but we'll talk about that later on some of the builds I've got coming up. 
Uh, but yeah, the big ones you want to find are Alpha Wolves, because these allow you to increase the maximum amount of equipable pets. Now, not every Alpha Wolf will give you plus 4, some will give you like plus 2, plus 3. Best I found was plus 4, so if you do come across those, make sure to add them to your like collection. Let's go and show you how to find Alpha Wolves right now. Right, Alpha Wolves, let's talk about them. So Alpha Wolves, like we said earlier, super important, let you expand your group size. Now there's a couple of places you can find them. We're currently uh, just at the River Forks Teleporter, uh, which is, I think, the first place you can come across them. Now there are also some down by, uh, yeah, the Kegney Test Site. So you will find some around here. There's also some up north. Somewhere, dire wolves you got over here, yeah, over here. So, you also find some like north of Mushroom Grove, but that again is going to be late game. So, I think the initial ones you're going to find are actually going to be here, like I said, at River Forks. Now, if we get close to them, so we're just going to go north, hop over the river, and we want to find the alphas. Now, they look, I want to say, exactly the same as normal wolves. But if we look on our map, you'll notice that when stuff is shown, you see we've got baby wolves, we've got normal wolves, but we've got this one here in like shaded green. And that means he's the alpha wolf. So we're gonna go just over here a little. I don't think it's him. Let's see, let's check the map. Right, he's just a little north of my position, northeast. So it should be, I think, this one. Boom! There we go. So that's an easy way to get alpha wolves, because, like I say, they do look similar to normal wolves. Right, so that was the alpha wolf location. Let's get back in and talk about a few other animals and what they do. So, beavers, really good for... Um, speed of action so anything you want to do faster mining perhaps uh, get some beavers rabbits are pretty good uh, they give you increased run speed now I weren't sure now I've got some builds coming up for my explorer and my gatherer I didn't really know what to give uh, like my builder I mean she stays at home a lot so you could maybe um, give them like stuff like this like crop yields or even like gold production ah the dragons right these are pretty late game you need to have done the second trial and got the bank to get through the gate uh, but these are super cool got really good abilities like maximum stamina for any they're all sort of like got abilities for each character as well so works well when they're stacked. Now if you do want to find them we can go over and I can show you how to find those now. Right so if you want to find dragons we are currently over at the buried columns but we're actually going to go up here but to get up here you need to have got through this door so if you've not got through this door yet you'll need the bank uh, which is you'll need a warehouse from the surf set so if you've not seen that there should be a video coming up shortly on how to get the surf set uh, which will let you expand your warehouse and then bank storage to be able to get through here but yeah when you're through this door you just want to go right immediately and you will find some rocks that Ernie can hop up It's down there that is like a platform Yeah, if we get on it now it should start moving And boom! And there is the green dragon Now I found that these didn't spawn back in after I tamed them so, there might only be two green dragons. And then, a red dragon up here. 
And of course you can get a teleport spot here which is nice. And then around the corner is the blue dragon. So yeah, that's where you get the dragons, that's where you can tame them. And a few. Oh, don't mind if I do. So, that's the three dragons. Now they've got some pretty awesome stats on them, the dragons. And they've got like good stats for everyone. Now you'll notice they've got like one for each hero. Uh, but yeah, really good stats for dragons. Like increasing storage and production. Really good. So definitely worth getting. Like the jackpots on them as well are really good. So you could have like, you'll definitely get more jackpots, you know, like when you open chests or even when you cut down trees and stuff. So really cool. Uh, the Dire Wolves are cool. They're similar to Alpha Wolves. I think Alpha Wolves are beat by them just because you get the more followers. Like they only let you have one more. They do increase your speed of actions though, so pretty good. Uh, what else we've got? We've got kitties. Uh, you can find those in Visual Pines for kitties. Along with blackbirds as well. Well, let's talk about jackalopes. Now these are pretty hard to find and pretty hard to tame. Now let's go over and show you where you can tame them. So, if you want to get the jackalopes, which are like the other pretty difficult to find pet, you want to come to T River, you want to get, just go outside the Hall of Heroes, and you will find them just here. So you'll see a couple of them, usually. But yeah, you'll find them here. Now, uh, currently, they're really hard to tame. I did manage to tame them with the use of um, crab apples. Uh, of course, you can get crab apples from over here, just north of the farm. Carrots didn't seem to be as effective, you know, even though they're rabbits. Uh, but yeah, this is where you get jackalopes. Because as you can see, like their interest like decreases really quickly at the moment. So getting that initial like level of trust, because obviously the first lots of petting won't give you any interest, right? So that's what, where crab apples come in handy because they give you trust and interest. So if it's still difficult, try feeding them crab, ap crab apples and doing axillary until you can get the, um, uh, the other levels of petting where you get interest as well. So yeah, I did, it took me, I think it was 12 minutes to actually get my jackalope so the stats he gave me though 30 run speed 40, 40 on speed of actions and then actual jump velocity so this actually makes you jump super high so definitely worth getting I would say for your explorer and it increases his maximum stamina by a ton and his running speed limit like Definitely worth getting a couple of those for your explorer. Now I did say I want to talk about a few builds that you can uh, get early game. So let's go over and talk about my super explorer build. My recommended build with Ernie is obviously alpha wolves to start with. So we can expand our pet, like our, our equipable pet slots. And then in fact, if we go in here, you can see we're getting loads of bonuses for run speed and uh, improved vision and stamina boost. So yeah, the Alpha Wolves are giving us a stamina boost and obviously the pack leader. And we're getting our run speed boost from our rabbits. Now the best two to get rabbit wise are the bunnies because you will also get a stamina boost as well as run speed uh, and the white rabbits because they have a higher run stat than the jack rabbits but you're not going to be able to get white rabbits for a while because I believe they're over here um, in fact yeah they're over here so they're quite late game so you should be able to just go with normal rabbits to begin with right over to the next build right so my obvious build 
for the gatherer. A little dwarf guy is obviously beavers and alpha wolves. So obviously alpha wolves to expand our equipable pet storage. And beavers because they give you uh, faster action speed. So yeah, if you look, you're getting 36. So around 30 to 40. And you get a nice little wood bonus as well with beavers. It's quite nice on the interest. But yeah, early game, this will really help you get mining quickly. Uh, let me show you. Boom. Oh, that's like 110 as well. That's not like a super small block. Let's say, uh, yeah. Like, it's the dream. So that is my dwarf team. Now, there is one caveat. There is one pet to talk about, actually, with the dwarf. And that is the piggy. Now, you don't get these early on, but they do have a really interesting little bonus. So when he follows my guy, you'll gain 40% speed while running in a straight line. So that's pretty big for this guy, because he is super slow. So yeah, you could stack some of those and make his movement speed pretty good. Obviously, only works when he's going in a straight line. But I think it's a, it's a worthy bonus. Now, if you do want to find piggies, they're way up in the abandoned village over here. Uh, so, it's sort of late game-ish stuff. You need to get through here, don't you, the gate. Uh, the 800 coin gate. Uh, but yeah, that's my dwarf guy. Uh, mining team. Right, so now let's look at a couple of builds for my explorer and gatherer, which I think will help you early on. Now, obviously, you won't be able to hold 10 pets uh, early on, so just get like, you know, one alpha wolf and then either three beavers or three bunnies, and that'll, that'll do you until you can expand further. But yeah, uh, oh, the whole gang is here. Oh, hello. Oh, great. Well, it is great when you can get 10 pets. Last thing I'm going to cover in the video is, yes, you can buy pet food from Alice. I did mention this briefly, uh, but I did want to just go over. But you can buy carrots, seeds, fawn berries, and fish from here. Now, you will find other sources of food out in the wild. Now, there's a couple uh, we can talk about. The big one is the crab apples. You'll find them just north of Breezy River. Uh, now there's a little like ladder you can climb and then uh, your builder can build a platform. I'll leave a surprise, so that's how you get there. You can go check it out yourselves. And you will also find like leaf piles and they will sometimes have like seeds in or actually I can show you what else. Yeah, you can get the fawn berries, crab apples, carrots and seeds. So yeah. You will find those like out in the wild as well. But yeah, I think that's been covered pretty much everything. I hope this video has helped. Uh, if it has, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date. There'll be more Dwarrow's tutorials coming real soon. Alright, thanks for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!